I cannot decipher the fragments on my own, yet I know who might interpret them. The preservers of Zakul. If they cannot, I fear this entire universe will burn. I'm okay, Doc, before you start asking. You were staring at that Protoss device for a very long time. Are you sure? Well, now you mention it, I could use a drink. Or two. Maybe what I saw would make more sense if I was drunk. What was it, Jim? An old friend of mine. Looking for the end of the world. How did you become such good buddies with those freaky Protoss? All I hear is they kill Terrans like you and me on sight. Some of them would. But some others would fight to the death protecting people like us. I helped them defend their homeworld from the Zerg during the first war. When Kerrigan came back leading the swarm, I helped them out again. They're real big on loyalty. Damn, Jimmy. Almost sounds like you respect them. I wouldn't expect you to understand, Tychus. We have a very special guest today, Crown Prince Valerian. Thank you so much for joining us, Highness. Thank you, Kate. It's wonderful to be here. Let me get right to the question on everyone's mind. Is there anyone special in your life right now? Truth be told, Kate, I've had a crush on you for many years. Oh, stop. <laughs> but in all seriousness, with the Zerg invasion, there's little time for such things. I've been studying military tactics under General Warfield, and whatever spare time I have is devoted to statecraft. It's my goal to be the best Emperor our people could ask for. When the time comes, of course. Wonderful. Now I've got two of them to worry about. Good to see you, brother. I've been... Wait. I can see it in your eyes. You've seen into the spirit world. The Protoss. He gave you... A crystal. And now you've been seeing what he's seen. That ain't nothing to do with you. Stay out of my head, Tosh. Have it your way. But you want to tread careful when you go looking into the beyond. If you need me, you know where I'll be. All right, Zeratul, old buddy, you've got your mysterious prophecy. Now let's see what your preservers made of it. My quest to decipher the prophecy took me to the forbidden archive world of Zakul. Here, three immortal preservers guarded ancient knowledge. Only they could transcribe the prophetic fragments. I needed to seek them out quickly. strangely silent here, yet these structures are intact. With power, they would be functional. Hybrid. Gods, an abomination. Who created this atrocity? Come, my slaves. The time has come to give me your strength. We have seen the prophetic fragments in your mind, Seratu. We will make of them what we can.
the cycle shall draw to its end. The Zelnaga who forged the stars will transcend their creation. Yet the Fallen One shall remain. Destined to cover the void in shadow. It begins with the great hunger. It ends in utter darkness. Great Hungerer, could it refer to the Zerg Overmind? It has a part to play in this prophecy. I must seek out the Overmind's final resting place, our ancient homeworld of Ire. Level 800, Elite Torrent Chieftain is back with a new album, Pulse Pounding Rock, that will shake the galaxy. Rock out with such hits as Rogues, Do It From Behind, Terran Up The Night, Another Hydralisk, Bites The Dust, Saturday Night's Alright For Nuking, Lucy In The Sky With Mutus, Every Rose Has Its Thor, Touring In Your Galaxy, No! What's up, cowboy? You know, you're looking kind of rough lately. Rougher than usual, I mean. I've, uh, got a lot going on right now, Swan. You know how it is. Yeah, sure. You know, you might want to try laying off the sauce and get some shut-eye once in a while, huh? Thanks, Mom. I'll get right on that. I remember the fall of Ire. Don't much like the idea of having to see it all again. Guess there's nothing for it. The very apex of its victory against us, the Zerg Overmind grew overconfident. Now, all that was left of the mighty Overmind was a twisted, withered husk. I needed to understand whatever memories lingered within the creature's rotting mass. Only by making contact with the gargantuan tendrils connected directly to its cortex could I learn its secrets. Yet its countless minions, which seemed to be feeding from its dead husk, would prove somewhat problematic. I must find a way to establish a foothold and summon reinforcements to keep the Zerg at bay. This ancient beacon still thrums with power. I wonder... Ah, oh, I've heard tales of the mighty Colossi sealed away beneath ire. The beacon must have awoken these fearsome guardians. The Zerg perceive a threat to their dead master. This is under attack. The third overmind tendril. I sense satisfaction. In a plan set in motion long ago. And... Fear... Of the future. Greetings, brother. I speak to you from the beyond. Tassadar. But... You died. Slaying this cursed Overmind. I have never tasted death, Zeratul. Nor shall I. But that is a tale for another time. I have come to tell you of this creature's... Courage. Courage? It was an abomination. Zerg were 
altered. A single overriding purpose was forced upon them. The destruction of our people. The overmind was formed with thought and reason, but not free will. It screamed and raged within the prison of its own mind. Who did this? Why? I know not, but the Overmind found a way to resist its all-consuming directive. It created a chance, a hope of salvation. The Queen of Blades. Madness. Only she can free the Zerg from slavery, and in so doing, save all that is from the flame. I do not understand, brother. Forget what you know, Zeratul. The Overmind saw a vision. The end of all things. And now, you must see it too. No. This vision. I cannot bear it. Stop. 